Good morning, my beauties. It's me, Miss Ultimate Beauty, and I'm here with my quarantine routine. Here's my bucket of toiletries that I use every morning to get my day started. Um, this is the regimen that I've created to keep me pretty much in order and sane so that I can have a productive day and stay motivated during shutdown. I use a Dr. Brunner's face soap. Um, I use a very diluted version of it so that it's more like an estrogen to my skin. And then I use a scrub brush to just brush off any impurities and any um, bad things that may have got on my skin from my skin detoxing at night because that's what we do as we sleep, we detox. So I make sure my skin is nice and clean. And then at night I use a more foaming one so I'm not drying my skin out too much. Um, I'm always getting compliments on my smile and how bright my teeth are. So what I use, I'm showing you guys right here, is a Pro Health Advanced Whitening Toothpaste and a Baking Soda Whitening Toothpaste. I combine those two and that's how I get my bright white teeth. I do it every day, morning and night, and good to go. After I do that, I go into my skincare. Right now I'm using Pure Aloe Vera Gel and Carmax for my morning routine. And I always use a jade roller to go ahead and distribute that um, aloe vera gel so it really penetrates my skin and it is better for my skin than using my fingers because the jade roller is nice and icy cold from the freezer so it's gonna minimize any puffiness in my skin like look at that side it's super super sculpted compared to the other and then it minimizes pores and it really gets the product that you're using in there and aloe vera gel is great for sensitive skin like mine so that's why I want it to like really penetrate so I'm just gonna iron and massage the aloe vera gel into my skin until it's all distributed and I like lift under my neck so I have no double chin and I'm like Ah, good to go. I make sure to rinse it off and just put it back in the freezer so that when it's time to use it again, it's cool and nice and gonna minimize my pores like I wanted to. Every morning, I pretty much wash up the dishes. At night, I get pretty tired and usually don't. So I make sure to fill up my dishwashing liquid container with a big old bottle of one that I bought ahead of time. That's what you guys should do so you don't have to make a lot of trips. Now that you're going to be in the house cooking a lot, you want to make sure that you have a surplus of things that you don't have to go back out and things that you really need, like dishwashing liquid, you know. Um, and you, you want to make sure you use your gloves. Um, I'm using gloves because I don't want to mess up my manicure. Like you can see, um, we're not going to have a lot of things open to get our nails done. So any way you can preserve your manicure, do it. And gloves are the best way to help with chipping and stuff like that. I use an all-natural soap, the method one, to clean up the sink. But that's just for freshening it. Bleach is always what I use. Okay, Bleach is always in the mix. Don't play. <laughs> we're using bleach. But the method is a good way to like have a nice scent. So I love how it smells. And that's like the finishing scent along with bleach, so it's nice and clean. Then I use my vitamins and my tea. I'm using Alkaline by Adina's um, multivitamins for hair, skin, and nails. I love it. It's been really working for me. Along with her sour sap tea, I use that and blend it with some really natural tea. That's hibiscus, um, chamomile, and I blend those into a teapot. And I let them um, brew while I make my morning smoothie. And by the time I'm done with my smoothie, I can drink my tea. And that's my breakfast. A smoothie and some really nice fresh brewed tea. Chamomile is really good for calming as well as any respiratory issues you may have. Oh, it just smells so good. I love it. It's so fresh and delicious. Chamomile is so good for you. Day and night, you can blend it in a lot of different ways. So that's why I got the pure version. And I love it. And then I use hibiscus, which is also good for respiratory um, things and your like nasal passage area and it also is really good to help with clear skin sour sap is unbelievable amount of benefits it's really great for your hair your skin your nails um, it has a lot of um, cancer prevention properties dandelion root is great for your mind it gets your mind I'm on track, especially if you're anxious or you're known to have depression. Dandelion root really helps with, you know, overall cognitive thinking processes. That's why I love dandelion root. 
So that's like my Mega Max tea right there, man. So while that that tea brew, I can go on ahead into making my smoothie. I like to let my tea brew for like a good long time. So by the time I'm done with my smoothie, I'm good to go. That's flax seeds, that's chia seeds. I'm getting it in here because the chia seeds are going to fill me up and the flax seeds are going to give me my omega fatty oils. So I have a complete meal. I have my healthy fats. I have my protein and um, I have my um, fruits and vegetables. Um, the kale is in there. The wild berries are in there. Banana, strawberries and I'm good to go. So if I'm starting my morning off with all these antioxidants and all these natural things, my immune system is really strong. I'm helping eradicate this disease by making sure I'm in my best health. So I was like just feeling like, what can I do? And it just starts with you guys. Just get up and just get a really healthy regimen and stick to it. And that's how you're gonna keep yourself focused on your family and yourself and making sure that you're healthy. And that's how you're going to make sure that you are at your best strength to combat anything that may be coming your way. Because, you know, we're learning new things every day. So a handful of berries, one banana, a handful of kale. This is a great way to get in your greens. If you don't really like greens, you're not a greens person, throw it in a smoothie. I smash it in there. Um, and then I add my chia seeds, my flax seeds, my oats, and... Um, honey if you don't want honey you can use blue agave or maple syrup i know a lot of vegans are probably watching this so you can supplement the um honey for blue agave or maple syrup pure maple syrup obviously not pink syrup <laughs> um after i blend all of that together i make sure to use distilled water um distilled water is going to be the best um, besides alkaline water but I know like I said with everything going on we have to use what we have and distilled water is going to be a little bit easier I think to get um, if not uh, you have to use regular water use regular water but you can always boil water too and let it cool at night and you can use that if worse comes to worse so there's no excuse not to make your smoothie <laughs> So I blend it all up, it, it smells so good already, like it just has all the nutrients I need in one. I'm a type of person where I'm not really into breakfast because it's just a lot, especially because I get up early, so the smoothie is the best way to get all the nutrients I need, to have all the energy I need throughout the day, and like just get me all my skin and hair and nail benefits all in one. Sometimes I'll throw... Um, Adina's vitamins in there if I'm not in the mood to like you know drink it with the tea but you know I have a little time so I'll slow sip it and drink it with my tea and be good to go the vitamins have sea moss in it, it has bladder work in there it has just so many great things again I'll put that information down there for you guys to see how you can get those pills if you need them I love them the only thing I hate is that she doesn't put a hundred pills in there it's only 60 I wish it was more pills for the price you pay that's my only complaint about them. Other than that, they're amazing. And yes, that's peanut butter I added. I use a pure peanut butter with honey in there, and mm, it's just so good. I slow sip my smoothie, so I add ice so that while I'm doing my makeup and getting ready for the day, I can just slow sip it without it getting too thick. And it's just delicious. It's perfect. I have a whole breakfast and lunch. I won't be hungry till later. And here's the makeup I'm using. I have my Pat McGrath foundation. I love her. I have my um, Pro Concealer corrector in one and I'm using an eyebrow gel from KISS. I literally just use a combination of beauty supply store and department store and Sephora makeup and I just you know maximize my look. Right now I love this KISS brow gel. I use it in dark brown and it's so nice and it, I don't have to do anything but just put it on and brush it out. Um, I mean I'm speechless with how amazing this foundation is it's a medium to full coverage foundation super buildable i usually have to blend two or three foundations to get the right color i just put this on and i'm good now i'm just using some concealer i'm using my mac palette and i'm highlighting my areas that need to highlight with my beauty blender brush i love this setting powder it's hd flawless for sure no white ashiness, no powdery look, just flawless. 
my YSL lip gloss, which is a stain and blush in one. And then I get into my Natasha palette. That Natasha palette I got from, from Sephora. And the minute I saw it, I knew I was gonna get it because I touched it with my fingertips and the shadow came on my finger. Like, amazing. I'm using a little bit of the sparkly light one in the palette into my eye crease, which I love so much. And I'm using my Pat McGrath gold eyeshadow for my highlight. I use like, you know, a blend of everything in the ways that I like it to get the look that I want. And I know her eyeshadows are super pigmented, so that's why I want them on my highlight because I want a super glowy look. And I was using the Riri one, but um, I really like the Pat McGrath one better. I like anything Pat McGrath, anything she does is perfect, so like, yeah. I've been using this, bra, bra, this NARS uh, blush kit forever, as you can see, everything in there is like used up. That was one of my favorite highlighters. I wish she would make it separately, but um, it's okay. I use the Pat McGrath one now, and then I use the blush in there. This is a chocolate lip liner from Kiss as well. And this is an LA Girl lip gloss. It's peppermint flavored. It's so refreshing and tingly and makes my lip plump, and it's the perfect pink. You guys gotta get that one. I like, everything's closed, and I wanted to like touch up on a, a bunch of stuff. And I saw that lip gloss and fell in love with it. Look how that eyeshadow comes out with just my fingertips. It's the best. The Natasha palette is everything. I'm gonna put down the names of everything I use at the bottom, don't worry. But I just want you guys to see, like, I don't even need a brush. And like, look at my skin, super glowy natural. I call it natural matte glow. That's my new thing. Natural, black, natural matte glow. <laughs> Um, after I do my makeup, I go to work out. If I was going to the gym, I would wear makeup. So I do the same thing I would do if I was going to the gym, which is put on the full face. I use a jump rope. I had this jump rope around the house and I had that, that gallon of uh, grape juice and I had those liquor bottles and I got it in. There's no excuse, guys. If you're stuck in the house and you don't have a chance to get your workout um, materials, use what you have around the house. I'm sure you have like a wire or something you can use to jump. And I just jump as much as I can until I can't jump anymore, and that's my warm up. I do front and back jump roping. And I have, I'm have i gonna make a detailed workout video on what I did here, because this workout was amazing. My body was tingling. It was a full body workout with just literally three things I found around the house. And I'm just doing my squats, and I'm going as low as I can, and coming up. Um, and then I'm gonna go do my arm workout with the same bottle, in and up, in and up, in and up. And I'm really just doing it till I feel a burn. Now I'm gonna do my arm. This is gonna just get my whole traps and the back of my arms really worked out in shape. There's no excuse. I'm sure y'all got Henny bottles in here. Y'all got some bottle in there. Use it and work out. Um, I'm making sure I get my whole chest area worked out. I'm getting my arms. I'm getting my forearms. I, there's no excuses. Get it in while you're home, you know? Now I'm gonna do my squat and jump and then I'm gonna do my high kick. That's my favorite little combo that you don't need anything for. You can just use your body to really get a good workout. This is perfect for your abs. Lean over on a table and just kind of pump, pump, pump it up. And then just come really far from the side and kind of pump and that's how you're gonna get the love handles. Plank for about 30 seconds and then cool down with some cardio which is jump roping again. No excuse, that little workout will have your body in great shape if you do it every morning and then I stretch I do a great stretch and then I'm out of breath man I feel good I take a shower I use some eucerin on my body and I'm all set to quarantine and chill like this is my final look and it's all good guys yeah